Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 47 of New Vegas. Sorry, I had to breathe there for a second. <laughs> um, what we're doing now is we're going to look for all the holotapes of the survivalist. As I realized, I hadn't looked them all up yet, or found them, rather. So we're going to do that for the time being. Now, every cave of the survivalist is trapped, so I'm going to have to be very, very careful. At least I'm going to try to be. Uh, need this out. Because I don't entirely remember if there's some critters that crawled into some of these places or not. So we're going to do that for the time being. Ah, that's what the booby trap was attached to. Gonna take that. Disarm the shotgun. And that one. Oh. Uh, pick up the cave fungus. Because that's always useful. I don't have enough Xander roots for most of it, but I, it's still useful. Uh, fuck. Fuck. I wasn't being careful. That was my own dumbass fault. Are you seriously staying at the entrance? <laughs> Alright. Okay, whatever. I'll just pop a gecko steak, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, been a long day. <laughs> Throat's a little bit... Uh, like I got badgers in it or something. I'm so what? How did I not see that? They were flipped upside down. Randall, you clever bastard. Okay, so I need to watch the floor more closely. And... I'm trying to pick stuff up while I do it. This will be difficult. <laughs> There's a mine over there. See, clever... Oh way to do it is to flip them upside down so the light doesn't show. It's not flip side, side down this time, but uh, still cleverly positioned so the light's away from me. Nope, oh, someone died here. Must have died to the shotgun. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That would have caused an even bigger explosion. Because those things go boom really easily. And the shotgun would be pointed directly at it, as well as the mine. Clever, clever bastard. Alright, let's go further down a little bit. Of course, being careful on the way down. This guy was a survivalist, no doubt about that. And there's his little camp, I think. If I can pick this motherfucker up. There we go. Is there anything further down that way? I don't know. Uh, oh, I guess I'm overweight now, huh? Yeah, I am. Oh, time for some whiskey. Here we go. Take that. Is there anything down here? Just water? Yeah, just water. Drink a little bit of that. There we go, that should get the rest of my health up. Cool. Now we head up. And... Now we'll pass through whatever traps he laid here. Oh, that was off my armor. <laughs> I saw a light shining. I'm like, oh shit! That was off my fucking wrist guard there. God damn and that teddy bear has to be hiding a grenade or something. Most likely a mine. Let's see how much closer we can get. And then move it. Yeah, there we go. See? He's a clever motherfucker, that Randall. Now let's see if I can drop any of this. Yeah, I can use some of it up. Use some of the more uh, weight expensive ingredients. 
go. Uh, not a lot of stuff to do. We'll use here. Uh, a lot of drain cells. Oh, purified water. That's always good to have. And... Oh, motherfucker. I hate it when they're so closely together like this, because then you think you can get them all, and then you end up not being able to get them all. It makes you feel dumb after that. What's in here? Wonder glue? I want a wrench. God damn it. Give me a wrench! Nah. Okay. Uh, let's see. They take pistol powder. I thought they took rifle. Now if they take pistol, well then, I can build myself up some more uh, rounds then. If I have the lead, there we go. I should do for a couple more. And I don't really have any others I can remake. Uh, what's in the wooden crate? Uh, more purified water. And healing powder. Yeah. Disarm and disarm. And that should have given me a couple things to break down at the bench. But yeah, there we go. Then make one more of those. And then drop all the hulls so I don't have to deal with them. But there. Drop all of them. <coughs> them. Jesus Christ. I'm dying, folks. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Activate the terminal. And these are some of his first ones. His first entries after the war. October 28th. Five days on foot. Still can't sleep. Outside, it's like nothing happened. Sky looks wrong. That's all. Hike back to overturn Nat Guard truck, National Guard, near Tokerville? After blisters heal, maybe. Looks like USGS team was researching something here in the cave. Cleared out when the bombs fell. Left equipment behind. Probably thought they had families to run back to. October 29th. Cher must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will feel more like you heard. You were right. I was north of Spanish Fork, took the 77 along Provo Bay to steer clear of town. Would have been home in an hour. Engine died, truck just stopped. So did a chrysalis in the other lane. New right away. First nuke hit SLC inside a minute. I was looking south. Lucky man. Flash behind me, so bright world looked on fire. Old couple from the chrysalis start screaming they can't see. Didn't watch you die, Cher. Saved my eyes. Counted 12 more flashes next 7 minutes. Ground shook each time. 18 seconds later. When nothing hit for a half hour, took a look. Globe of fire where you and Alex died. Didn't kid myself. Didn't know what to do. Grabbed my pack and rifle. Saw to the old couple. Sat them up against the car. Let them hold and comfort each other. Told them I was going to get help, everything would be okay. One bullet through both heads. Instant. Five day hike back to Zion. You told me. Stop running off to the wild. Man belongs with his family. You were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. Wasn't there to hold you and my boy. Died without me. Never touch you or him again. Should shoot myself. What I deserve. Can't. Maybe soon. October 31st. Black rain falling outside. Geiger jumping. Should let it kill me, but bottling water from back at cave all the same. November 2nd. Sounds dead outside, but can't look. Geiger goes lethal 15 feet from cave mouth. Do the math. Radiation goes down before water runs out, or I never leave this cave. From the new year. Happy New Year. Two months in cave. Still lethal outside. Don't get it. In army they said two to four weeks cleared fallout. Less than a month water left. Been mopping condensation off cave walls. Ringing shirt into bottles. 
Trading calories for H2O. Food stocks holding. Thanks, USDS. There was even a chance I'd see the two of you again. I'd run outside. January 10th. Sounded like windstorm out there for two days. Radiation down 500. What happened? 15. Took a peek. Snow. It glows green. January 28th. Radiation low enough I could risk short exposure outside. More important, cave stream now drinkable if I use rad drugs. That's good. January 30th. Hey, that's my birthday. There is nothing alive out there. Yeah. That's that's what happens. God damn though. Survival cash. This is the stuff we came here for. Bobby pins. Uh what else? Not a lot. This one's kind of lackluster. I mean those I can reuse, but that's about it. Oh well. Call that good for now. Of course she's still at the back of the cave hiding. Can't say I blame her. This is like taboo for her. Uh, I thought I had more stuff to put lead onto. I do, but I don't have enough small rifle primers. Uh, let's just drop the holes again. I do not like having holes in my inventory when I'm not using them. Hey! Found a use after all. There we go. Now I'm over encumbered? I wasn't over encumbered before. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Uh, what needs more of a repair in my weapons? Because I can just waste a uh, weapons repair kit on that. Uh, this one needs more of a repair. Oops. Press the wrong button. There we go. Then we'll do that. And I'm good for now. Should probably head back to uh, blah, 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 blah. what's his name? Joshua. God damn it. My brain is just imploded on itself. I can no longer do anything normal. Okay, there was a fork in the cave somewhere, right? Gotta be careful at that spot. Or was this the one? Yeah, this was the one. That was the water that was a stream he was mentioning before uh head up here there's a yeah this was the fork i think which, which one was the one i had to have gone through yeah this one i didn't go through okay uh yep there's one And the other one's probably on the other side. Yep. Set upright. That would have killed me if I was looking this way. And now I'm overweight again. Motherfucker. Have one of these. I'm overflowing with supplies that I'm not even using anymore. And this is a tripwire. Alright. I could go out that way, but I think I would mess with... Uh, Waking Clouds AI. So I'm just going to go back. AI. Okay. I had to make that quote. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, go this way. All the way back out. Whee! Alright. Hey, what are you doing here? Weirdo. Next one I have marked right over there why is there an enemy nearby doesn't make sense but whatever next spot is two skies cave next the next one in the chronological order the retention perk greatly increases the duration of skill boosting magazines and I have run out of whiskey god damn it Okay, I really should have just dropped some more stuff off at uh, Joshua's first. God, I love the guy, but I can't remember his goddamn name, I swear to God. I am an awful person. 
<laughs> okay. After we drop some stuff off with him and put it in the cave up north, which is a good base of operations regardless. Up. Up, Joshua. Up, up, up. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Uh, could repair some of my things. I could use that. I could always use that. Um, use a combat knife. Eh, I don't really use that as much. So I'll just leave that as it is. And we'll do some trading to get some of this stuff off my back. Uh, specifically this. This has a bit of weight to it. And if I can drop off a bunch more stuff for you. It's uh, a lot of stuff that does not have little weight and a lot of value. Which, you know, makes sense, considering. Uh, no, he doesn't really have much. I mean, he has a recharger pistol, but I don't use that anyway. So it wouldn't do me any good. Um, I could pick up those. But it'd be easier to make them. Uh, screw it. I'll just give you this. We'll call it good. We'll call that good for you, bud. And I'll just drop the rest of it up in Stonebone's Cave. The little spot we got there going on. Whoa! That was weird. Alright, we'll go in here. Go to the end of the cave and we'll get all of my stuff dealt with. She's just gonna sit there, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Should have known. Should have known. That's what she does. Uh, yeah, this is all the stuff I don't need, so I'll drop these off because I don't need them. I'll drop off. I think I'll. No, I should probably keep that for the time being. Uh, don't really need this though. I'm not really using it as much right now. But I probably should be keeping it. This stuff I'm not using right now. I'm not using the survivalist rifle right now as much as I want to be. So, I'll drop that off. Uh, Rat Slayer, I'm barely using it as of right now, so we'll drop that off. And what else can I drop off for a little more extra weight uh, carrying capacity? The healing poultices actually don't take up that much, so I kind of want to keep them on me. Uh, these really have not that much value. So I can drop them at least. Uh, do I have any wrenches here? Yeah, I do. I'll take some of these. And I'll build me up some weapon repair kits. I'm pretty sure I have some more duct tape, don't I? Oh wait, I don't have enough scrap metal. That's what the problem is. Okay make up one of those so I get some stuff out of my inventory and da ba 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 boop ba boop and I'm carrying a lot of those and they don't really have much use unless I'm making other things uh, I'll just drop them off here I know the Rad Scorpion stuff have some uses, but I'm not using them. And the Bark Scorpion glands I can just sell. So, there's that. Uh, yeah, I'll drop. I'm a fucking idiot. I pressed the wrong fucking button. <laughs> okay, I'll have to do all of that again. But I'll do that in the next episode, I guess. Or before 
filming the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about the games we're currently playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.